We know that there has been this explosive eruption at the main crater at the summit of, Hilo, uh, of Kilauea, and it is sending a massive ash plume into the air. And authorities are saying that it is expecting to expected to blanket the area in ash. The last time this happened, just two days ago, the ash was nearly half an inch thick. It is not clear whether this explosion is any bigger or uh, or around the same. We're still trying to find out that information, but. Um, Local authorities are, are saying that this could perhaps reach Hilo, which is about a, you know, an hour drive from where this crater is. The winds right now are blowing in the southeasterly direction, which is actually into a lot of places that, that are that are inhabited. In fact, we were just in the southeast where you're seeing a lot of those uh, fissures open up in the earth, uh, you know, sending out that sulfur dioxide gas. And on the way there, it, it was quite cloudy when we were in that direction, the southeast. And it is not clear whether that's from um, the crater, from the explosion, from something else. But we hadn't seen that before. And, you know, the, it, was, it was quite foggy ahead. And that's all you could smell is just that rotten egg smell. It is raining here. So I'm not sure whether that's putting, um, you know, putting a damper, for la- lack of a better term, on this ash bloom. But, and vis- visibility is quite low. So um, it's not exactly clear to me at this point how big it is. I'm trying to get in touch with. Uh, my contacts out in Volcano, but as you know, it's uh, just after six o'clock in the morning here. And uh, the one woman that I called um, who lives in Volcano was just waking up and she was worried about making sure that her water tanks didn't get contaminated. Um, I was the first to alert her. She said that she thought she heard something uh, when she was sleeping, but she wasn't sure exactly what it is. As you know, people here, they are on edge. They are waiting for the big one. Of course, they are used to um, they are used to earthquakes, which have been happening constantly for the past two weeks. They're expected to continue to happen, and they are used to the odd explosion, eruption inside the, the main crater at Kilauea, but they're not used to earthquakes of this volume, and they're not used to explosions that are this big and send this much ash into the sky. So a lot of people right now are doing what they can to prepare, to cover things, expecting that there's going to be ash, uh, to make sure that things are on the ground in the event of a big earthquake. A big one, the possibility that there could be these massive boulders, you know, the size of a refrigerator or the size of a car going some half a mile, smaller rocks going even further. That is definitely in the back of people's minds here, John.